So let's work on the final steps of getting our application up and running. Right now, this is technically working. Web traffic is getting bounced between the two application servers on the load balancer and the SSL certificate is working great. I get this error and this error is actually for a dumb reason. Within our application forge.scale.laravel.com, I had the environment here and I gave it a item with a space and any item with a space needs to be quoted. So I'll just save that change here and I'll do the same thing on app two within the forge scale and laravel.com app and the environment. We'll edit that and make sure it has quotes around anything with spaces. Okay, we'll give that a second to update and we can refresh here and now we get a new error. So let's see what happened here. Now, before I even look in the server, I'm going to head over here, go to the apps and I'm gonna tell it to deploy now. Okay, that worked and it didn't give us an error. Let's see the latest log. It's getting the latest from master and it's running migrations. So that is great and that's probably all we need to do. And I'm gonna do the same on application one because we just did that in application two. So we're we'll head to our forge scale and laravel.com site, deploy now. Now what we're gonna see here is that the migrations don't run because we just ran on our last server and because the database is central, in other words, it's just one database we're using, we'll see that those migrations were actually already run, nothing to migrate, right? Because it's just one database here. And when this tried to run the migrations, it saw that those were already run and we didn't run them here. So we should be a little closer here now. And the fact that we didn't get an error in either place says that it probably is doing fine when connecting to the database. So I think I know what this error is and that is going to require me to go here. Now this code, this site has really nothing but the default scaling Laravel site. And then I added the auth scaffolding. So the thing to know here is that I'm actually connecting to Redis, right? And I haven't installed the Redis library. So I need to do composer require Predis Predis. And this will add the library that PHP needs to speak to Redis. And then we can push this change back up, see that those changes get deployed and then we should be in business. All right, that's added. We'll do git add dot and we'll do git commit dash M. This CMM is just a shortcut I have. Added Redis library. We'll push that up. Then we have quick deploy on. So Forge will deploy these changes to each site. If I go to the homepage, we should see it under here, deploying to push code to Forge for app one and app two. And we can see the output of that. And that is done. And it added that Redis library when it did the composer update or composer install command. Okay, so we are in business here. I'm gonna register just to make sure this is all working. And we have an issue here, and the issue here is one that we've actually dealt with before. Now this is a plain app and I did not configure anything, which means I did not configure the trusted proxy package. So what I need to do here is go back to my code and we are going to edit the app HTTP middleware and it will be the trust proxies middleware. And here we have no proxies trusted. So I'm just gonna add an array here and that array is gonna contain the IP address of our load balancer. And I think it should specifically be the private IP address of the load balancer because that's the network it's using to connect to the sites. So in quotes here, I add the IP address of our trusted proxy, in other words, our load balancer, as explained in the other videos. And I'm not gonna change any of these headers because these should work automatically. These should be the headers that Nginx is setting along. So save and quit that. We configured trusted proxy. We'll push those changes up and let's see what happens. This should get changed really quick. Deploying code already. Perfect, okay. So let's refresh this and boom, it worked because we have configured the trusted proxy and for other reasons I explained in the previous videos on that, this is now generating correct URLs with HTTP and everything. So our CSS gets loaded, our assets get loaded and the generated URLs for things like form submissions go to the correct place, HTTPS and our domain. Okay, so now I can register a user and I'm logged in, perfect. So our app is up and running and working and bouncing between our two application servers via the load balancer. So we're up and running here on a scaled app. Now, one of the last things I wanna cover are cleaning up our servers for a little bit more performance. Right now, each one of these servers has everything installed except for the load balancer. Our two app servers, our cache server and our database server have a lot of stuff installed. The database server has MySQL, but not Postgre, but it still has memcache and all this other stuff installed. Cache server has everything the application servers have installed, even though we only use Redis. And the application servers have 
memcache and beanstalk and all those good things installed, but we're not using them. So the last thing I wanna do is cover the recipes I've created to help fix this. And what they do is just disable certain services so that they do not get rebooted when the server reboots and they don't steal and use resources from these servers.